I could really go for a water right now. Maybe even an espresso. Hey guys, Coach Ryan here, and in this next episode of DePraw Power Skating, we're going to be going over the three main things. The three things that you could be doing wrong when you're working the slide board to improve your hockey stride. Hey guys, Ryan Dupra here, and if this is the first time you're checking out my channel, thanks for stopping by. I'm a national power skating coach with an emphasis and expertise in creating explosive and dynamic skaters. If you happen to be looking for more help in gaining more speed, explosiveness, and quickness out on the ice, don't forget to check the links down below and you can find out more about the Breakaway Blueprint and how I help players virtually from anywhere, anytime, in any location. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about three main mistakes or three main hangups, usually general mechanics and things that people are doing wrong when they're using a slide board because it's kind of just like skating. It's just like practicing skill and techniques and muscle memory in your hockey game. If you're going out there without any intent right? And you're just kind of skating and playing around, you're not going to be making any gains. And that's fine if that's what the intent is. I'm just out there with my buddy, I'm playing, or maybe I'm even just working on my creativity and my moves. But if you're looking to improve and make gains, you need to be focused and you need to be very intent on what you are doing. Same thing when you're slide boarding. If, if you're trying to slide to improve your hockey stride or your power, maybe lengthen your stride and clean up your mechanics, you have to be very focused and intent and precise. If you just slide for 30 minutes, hey, I slid for 30 minutes, you're not really gonna gain a lot of transformation in your hockey stride. But these are three things that a lot of people have done when they come into the stride lab that I've picked up over the years, that I've watched videos and I've seen people do from pro all the way down to amateur. So let's go into the first one. Not sliding enough, right? It is a huge, huge tool for hockey players, ice skaters, speed skaters, or the average Joe that doesn't train laterally, right? because you have three different planes of movement in your body and that is one of the biggest imbalances that we don't train at all, which is lateral movement. So get your butt on a slide board. Okay, so number two is rather easy, but it makes a ton of sense and it's not skating with a deep, deep knee bend. And especially deep knee bend where you're not hinged over at the waist, right? It depends. If you're a hockey player, that's a big no-no. You don't want to do that at all. You want to keep your eyes, chest, and chin up. Speed skaters, different position, right? They're going to hinge over at the waist and be out in front. They have a longer blade. It's a different type of mechanic, and you've got a little bit different physics going on because a hockey player's blade, right, when it's profiled and it's rounded, it's a lot shorter. So it's a totally different stance, plus it's a different game and we've got to keep our head up. So that's the first thing I see a lot of people doing wrong. When you're up here and sliding, just trying to get used to it and you want to just find your balance and your rhythm, not a problem, right? But if you really want to make some gains and especially in that power stride, and lengthening that stride, you've got to get really, really deep down here where you're burning the quads and you're able to extend lower because the further you stand up, there goes your long stride. And when you're a short Frenchie like me, you need every inch and every ounce of blade pushing across that ice to pick up more speed and more momentum, right? The longer you push, the more steel on the ice with a good extension and a good return is going to get you more speed in the end game. So sink down nice and deep. I see a lot of players doing, especially hockey players, is on the return, right? So when you return, if 
I show you from a side view, hockey players want as low and quick as return as possible. Okay, so some players, after they stride out and they extend out, they have this big giant donkey kick. I call it over a return that actually not only leaves the ice, but kind of kicks up and back. Maybe you're saying, well, yeah, coach, that's not that bad. You know, it only adds another quarter of a half a second, you know, just a tenth of a second. Add it up on every stride and keep adding one length down the ice. It does matter. You'd be surprised. So I see a lot of people when they're doing their slide board, they'll pick this foot up or they'll have some kind of fun little kick at the end, which I get it, right? Maybe you're clubbing, maybe you're working on some kind of new, I don't know, river dance, shall we call it? I guess that would be more up in <laughs> that part of the woods. But I don't want to see you picking up that return and kicking it back at all. I want to see the extension come in, really exaggerate that return. Nothing ever leaves. My foot is always in the booty, and the booty is always down sliding. Okay, so the third rule is gonna be above the equator, above the belt line, and we're talking about your arm punches and your arm swing. And a lot of coaches say, swing your arms and pump your arms. 100% when you are on the slide board, you need to be careful because that lateral training, especially on a slide board, is directly to the side and it makes you want to go in to the Irishman at the bar, right? Number one, it's going to start throwing your shoulders out of whack and dipping the shoulders where we want to keep them square and level. And number two, it's going to teach you to punch too much momentum and energy to the side when you're driving up the ice. And I'm not saying be robotic or a 100 yard dash sprinter. I'm just saying you've got to find the happy medium somewhere in the middle here, instead of driving too hard to the side to get across. That's it for this slide board episode of DePraw Power Skating. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos on hockey training and especially becoming a more dynamic an explosive skater. We'll see you next time. I almost forgot. I hope you have a great one. See you next time.